Lately, I've had a lot of people asking me to do a video on how carbohydrates work, specifically how fruit works within the body. You see, fruit's got this bad rap. We all seem to think that fruit is horrible because it's a sugar and it's a carb and we're living in the low carb generation and yada yada. But the thing is, fruits are important. Come on, they've got a lot of vitamins, they've got a lot of things that we need, and let's not forget the simple fact that they're low calorie. And when it all comes down to it, I know some people will disagree, but it is somewhat of a calories in versus calories out game. You can't deny the fact that someone that is eating significantly less calories than someone who is not is going to probably lose more weight. Now, whether or not they're losing the right weight, that's a different question. So at the end of the day, fruit is not bad. So I wanna tell you in this video when you can eat your fruit to get the most effect from it and to make sure that that fructose, the sugar that is found in fruit, doesn't get converted into fat. But before I tell you the best time to eat your fruit, I wanna explain how carbohydrates are stored and how they're somewhat metabolized within the body. You see, carbs are an important source of energy for us. They're important for brain function, they're important for muscle function. And when you consume carbohydrates, they're stored in the body in one of two forms. They're either stored as muscle glycogen or liver glycogen. And what that means is it's a stored form of carbohydrate. So your body will either shuttle those carbohydrates into storage within the muscle or into storage within the liver. Now the difference is that glucose, or the simple monosaccharides that come from regular starches and things like that, those are shuttled in as muscle glycogen, and only muscle glycogen. Then you've got fructose. Fructose is shuttled into the liver as liver glycogen. Glucose will not replenish liver glycogen or liver carbohydrate stores, and fructose will not replenish muscle glycogen or muscle carbohydrate stores. It's that simple, there's no crisscrossing. So as long as we can keep that in mind, we can have the perfect tools necessary to make sure we can still have our cake and eat it too. Or should I say, have our fruit and eat it too. So what we have to remember when we're looking at it like this is that the liver can only hold a small amount of carbohydrates at a time. The liver can usually only hold roughly two to three glasses of orange juice worth of fructose or worth of carbohydrates. Whereas the muscles, obviously you've got a lot more of them throughout your body, can hold significantly more. So you can get away with eating more starches or more regular sugars or other kinds of glucose than you can fructose. You see what happens is when you consume too much fructose, the liver glycogen gets full and it triggers an enzymatic process that tells the body to start storing the extra fructose as body fat. And more often than not, it goes right to the midsection where we don't really want it. This is terrible if you're trying to get in the best possible shape. So all we have to do is monitor how much fructose we take in. It's really that simple. But we do also have to be aware of the fact that fructose also needs to be utilized relatively quickly. You see, before it's converted into liver glycogen, it's also flowing through the bloodstream being readily available for energy. So what does this tell us? Well, now I'm gonna tell you the best time to eat your fruit and the best time not to eat your fruit. Ultimately, you should be eating your fructose right before your workout. And unfortunately, fructose kinda of takes a back seat because everyone wants to fill up their muscle glycogen stores before they go to the gym. They wanna get that pump, they wanna get the energy in the muscles. Well, let me tell you, if you crave some fruit, having it before your workout is probably gonna be the best time. Why? Because the body is going to want to use that fructose first because it's readily available for energy. Before it's processed by the liver and stored as glycogen, it's flowing through the bloodstream and readily available. The perfect time that you can use it when you're in the gym. Now also, you're gonna burn through that liver glycogen really quick. So you might as well eat your fruit, let yourself have some fun and enjoy the fruit right before you go to the gym. Now one thing that a lot of people don't really know about is the fact that if your liver glycogen levels are low, you don't have a lot of those glycogen stores in your liver, your body has to produce alanine from the muscles. And what that means is that your body starts breaking down the muscle tissue, which means that you can catabolize. You can lose that lean muscle tissue. And we have to remember that lean muscle tissue, even if we're not trying to get bulky, is ultimately what is gonna help keep our metabolism skyrocketed so that we can burn more fat and have more energy throughout the day. So there you have it, eating your fruit pre-workout is going to not only help you spare some muscle and let you have your fruit, but it's also gonna give you the energy that you need. But let's talk about when not to eat your fruit. Okay, you're not gonna eat your fruit right after your workout. You see, because after you burn through that liver glycogen, your body starts pulling stores from the muscles. Well, the first place that your body is going to restore glycogen after a workout specifically is within the muscles. So you wanna restore the muscle glycogen first. So after a workout, get the muscle glycogen filled up by eating starches and regular glucose and regular carbohydrates and leave the fruit out of the equation. 
because remember, it doesn't take much fruit to fill up the liver glycogen. We can take care of that later. Now, additionally, first thing in the morning is another okay time to have fruit because while you're sleeping, your body is pulling glycogen stores from the liver, not from the muscles. And it's doing this because you're not moving around. Unless you're having a horrendous nightmare where you're kicking and screaming and really using a lot of muscle, chances are you're pulling glycogen stores from your liver and not from your muscles. So first thing in the morning, you can replenish that liver glycogen with just a little bit of carbohydrates from the way of fruit. So there you have it. To summarize, you wanna have your fruit right before you work out or possibly a little bit during, but you don't wanna have it post-workout. Post-workout, you wanna have your starches, you wanna have your regular carbs, and you're okay to have a small amount of fruit first thing in the morning. So now that you know when to eat your fruit and when not to eat your fruit, I've got one little tip to leave you with. Try to go organic whenever possible. Look at, I know I sound like a broken record when I talk about that. The thing is, is that organic has less fructose. You can eat more of the fruit that you love and get a little bit less sugar out of it. You see, a lot of times the GMO foods and all the other fruits that are in the supermarkets, they have been bred to be a little bit sweeter so that they taste better so that we buy more of them. So eat organic whenever possible. Hope this clears up some of the myths about fruit so that you can still enjoy nature's candy and get the most out of your diet. As always, keep it locked in here for more tips on how to get in the best possible shape of your life while maintaining your focus and your career. I'll see you in the next video.